Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel Lovers Lair. Time now for my brand new video. So today I'm off to Destination Star Trek, which is a three day event here at London, the Excel Centre. I'm obviously not there just yet. I'm in the hotel with my amazing boyfriend, Richie, who is running over to be in the video. Uh, this is day two of the event. We actually went yesterday for like an hour, two hours just to basically collect our passes to get in. We are on the commander package, so we are very like, good. <laughs> we get... <laughs> <laughs> We're on the commander package, which means we get quite a lot of like free shit basically. And we get to skip queues and all that. So there we go, there's a pass passes. And I'm also wearing Richie's Star Trek t-shirt because as you may or may not know, I have absolutely no idea what's going on with Star Trek. We are watching it, aren't we though? Very slowly. Slowly but surely. We're going to get there. But anyway, I'm coming to the event because I'm going to go meet Kate Mulgrew, who I know best for playing Red in Orange and New Black, and I'm so excited to meet her. Um, David Ajala, who I know best for playing Manchester Black in Supergirl. And George Takei, who of course I know best for... I must love to get me out of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! And about half a season of Star Trek. But yeah, <laughs> not even half. But yeah, it's going to be an amazing time. I thought, why not vlog it? Don't know what footage I'm going to get because obviously I'm going to try and enjoy the day more than make a video. But it's going to be good and yeah. Let's go. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I forgot to show you my hat. Look, got it for free. Do you like it? Good isn't it? Well, free. <laughs> free. I didn't nick it, just say so, though. You can take the boy out of Leicester, but you can take the Leicester out of the boy. Is that what it says? I don't know. Fucked it right up. But yeah, do you like my hat? So we've made it to the Excel, we're on the way in, and yeah, we're going to join the queue to get in. So yeah, see you inside. I'm rough. Big fan of his in Disco. I've been friends with him on Facebook since his Doctor Who days. Yeah, told you he was in Doctor Who. He was a smiler. He didn't believe me after that. No, there was no, um, the, we no, the spaceship episode with the... Oh, with the space whale thingy. Told you. And the oh, cities yeah, are yeah, on yeah. top, he's in a clown yeah. machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't remember the character's name, but... <laughs> hey, right. So, to Richie, this one's it. How are you? Good morning, I'm real good, thank you. I actually love your relationship with me. I'm a poet. Thank you, man. It gets, my friends, gets so much better. Carriage? There's... Nothing else, Can't say. Some, some stuff goes down. Oh. Daniel, good morning. Yeah. That's me. Who are you then? Hello, hello. Hello, I'm Marina. I'm Marina, I'm David. Hello, David. Lovely to meet you. There we go. <laughs> so, what were you? Uh, Star Trek. Old, like ancient. Oh, classic. Cla actually, do you know what? Yeah. What they call us now? Legacy. Yeah. We're the legacy. <laughs> because you know what, David? I'm a fucking icon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking icon. Because when the drag queens start doing you, you know you're an icon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is definitely something that's on my bucket list. I can have someone who dresses me. I can have a drag queen dressed as well. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Double C. Double C. Double D. Cool. Well, <laughs> I'm going to push it. No, you can't have bigger boobs than me, David. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> double A. Got A cups. Yeah. Right, then. Oh, we did it, <laughs> 
Oh, really? I'll tell you about that now. What is this for? There you go. The punching ball. What was it like wearing all that makeup? It was really heavy and it was really contact lenses. Yeah? Yeah, and it was to lean on like a wall in between the two. Really? Richie, are you Richie? Good man. You'd like me to personalize it or just uh, a signature and Any quote that you like yeah. um, during the free season. Okay, great. Uh, so, would you like. I, I really love firing all photon torpedoes, sir. Yes, please. But would you like me to start with Captain Richie firing all torpedoes, sir? Perfect. Okay, great. <laughs> There you are, good sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you reckon Jim Reese will ever get to Captain the Discovery at any point? Have you not seen... Hold on a second, my friend. <laughs> I mean, not like, um, like Michael and Sarah Sa Sa did, like for more than one episode. Oh, I see what or will you, you get your own captain of your own starship? I, see, I, see. I mean, I think that's that's in, in uh, uh, the hopes and dreams of Gen Reese. Uh, what I could show you is, I don't know if you saw this picture from this coming season. No, I haven't. <laughs> no way. November 18th. Excellent. Hello. Hi, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Yourself? Richie? Yes, This is very clever. <laughs> uh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Especially with this tea. you got to be careful. You're actually probably my favourite character. Really? You're so relatable on the entire... You're like the everyday human being, the happy, you go through all the emotions, you just make it normal and natural, and I just... You're amazing. Thank the character, you so you're so absolutely much. amazing. I appreciate that. Um, there we go. I relate to Tilly a lot too, so yeah. you know. <laughs> they make it easy for me, you know. <laughs> Not too bad, thank you. Yeah. You too? Having fun? I am indeed. How so about yourself? Is this day one for you or day two? Uh, technically day two. We were here yesterday for a little bit, but okay. we kind of missed everything. everything. Okay. <laughs> um, do we find out, I can't, I've seen all the three seasons, but do we find out what happened? Like, specifically, no, it was just an injury from the Battle of the Binaries, but the piece changes this season, it's a little bit smaller, and we, uh, oh, okay. yeah, we get to find out a little bit more about it, so, yeah. I assume it's because it's now set in the 32nd century, is it? Yeah. And it's all beat the technology. And... Exactly, yeah, so there was more time to do an upgrade. Yeah. yeah. Would you be interested if your character had any influence with the ball? Because it's kind of like a cyber... Cybernetic. They've told me it's not Borg. It's not Borg uh, at all. Yeah, no, it's just an augmentation. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice Thank to you meet you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Awesome. Have fun this weekend. Have a good day. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Thank you very much. I am over the moon that you and Paul feature on a mainstream Star Trek TV series for the couple. Yeah. It's just absolutely amazing. We're it's pretty about over time. the moon about it ourselves. Thank you. He's he's bummed he can't be here. Yeah? Yeah, he had a family obligation. But... Oh, okay. Do you think we will see a gay marriage on Discovery? That's what counts. I don't think it's out of the question. Yeah. I think like it's possible. Like it does, yeah. uh, we've talked about it. I don't know. It's, we'll see. I'm hoping so because it'll be the very first time we've had a proper gay relationship and a marriage. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Richie. Thank you. Have so much fun today. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Too. There are people who are trying to get Fox to come back on one of the shows, but yeah. um, so far those people have not been successful. I know. <laughs> I'm one of those. <laughs> I, I would happily come back with yeah. Fox, but uh, I'd be old fat Fox, but uh, you know what well, the hell. I would love to see the fifth season of Enterprise, Enterprise, because there's a lot of stories that I, I heard about that yeah. would be absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I knew that there was talks of a Star Trek series that was going to be an anthology series, so like an episode, one series 
doing a whole story, so I was hoping that was going to come true. Well, to My idea was to have a show called Old Fat Flocks, <laughs> where Flocks just sits in a rocking chair at the beginning of the show, like Edgar Buchanan on Petticoat Junction, and tells stories. So the opening frame would be, oh, that reminds me, and then the whole thing would be a flashback, and I'd only have to work one day. <laughs> that, that show has not been picked up either. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Richie. Yes, please. I am so over the moon for this relationship. I know, I know obviously, Grey isn't real. It's part of the true symbiote in the. Yeah. But I just think it's absolutely amazing. And much like Hugh, uh, Hugh and Paul's relationship, it kind of feels like they're your dad. Yeah. And I just think that is amazing. Absolutely. It's, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Energy, it's really nice. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Richie, yes, I love please. that you have your own laminated. <laughs> Somebody's so done this before. Uh, quite and a few it, times. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I actually loved your character. Oh. I was so upset oh. when it was so emotional I know. to see that she died. I know. And I just, I think that's probably the most emotional I've been during the Star Trek series. Really? I was just mortified Marian. I mean I totally agree with you like when I read the script for the first time I was like uh, it's just beautiful writing you know like yeah. the stakes were so high and it was such a sacrifice on her part yeah. and I love the I love playing the um, conflicting personality exactly of like the human inside yeah. you know that's trying to break through it yeah. felt like yeah no it was a really like if you have to die on Star Trek, it was a great way to go. Yeah, no, exactly. You know, beautiful way to go. Yeah. And then they had a, an official ceremony to honor me, and then I think they did shoot me out back into space, so... Right, okay. So, possibly, unlikely, Oh my god, possibly. I would love... <laughs> Borg was always my favorite. Yes. Borg and Q, so, yeah. you know? You could be the new Borg queen. Yeah, got a lot to move up to. <laughs> I'm taking her down. Uh, I, my show was on before you were born. <laughs> 80, 99. I was three, I was born, so 90. I was still oh, a baby. Oh, well, you look um, like a baby. Oh, thank you. Do you think we've seen the last of Shelby? Would you I like to come not. back? I would love to come back. I would love that. As long as it hurt to wear this. No? Oh, <laughs> well, I reckon you'd be alright in the Star Trek card series. They don't wear the traditional oh, uniforms. Oh, really? Anymore. That's good to know. So, I love Aliens. Yeah. But oh, I love the Saw franchise. Which one is your favourite? Oh, Alien. Alien? <laughs> In that case, can I have that one person nice to meet you? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. What was it like on the set of Alien? I know, obviously, I know this is a Star Trek convention. Uh -huh. What was it like on, on the set of Alien? It was like every uh, boy's dream. You, yeah? know? you went to work playing soldier. <laughs> and uh, it was... Uh, we all knew that the script was just one of the best that we'd ever seen. Uh, but uh, it was intense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I assume it was hot because it was quite dark and not hot at all. It was freezing. Really? Yeah, it was, it was, in, it was shot in the middle of winter. Yeah, we were out acting in a disused uh, power plant. And then we were out at Pinewood Studios, but it was, yeah, it was all through the winter. We were freezing our asses off, but they had to spray, you know, water on us to make it look like we were sweating. Oh, my God. Yeah, it wasn't hot at all. <laughs> but, yeah, that that movie always astounds me because, it, you know, it was all sorts of practical stuff. There was no CGI, you know, and they made that movie for a budget of, like, $18 million. Today's money it would yeah. easily be $180 million. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, my God. Stands the test of time. I mean, the movie. Yeah, no, it's absolutely perfect. I it's saw it again edition. last year, and it's just like. Yeah. It, I, I think it's flawless. Yeah, no, exactly. Absolutely perfect. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Sweet. Do you think there's any. I know, obviously, your character is dead, but you're in the quadrant with the ball. Do you reckon there's any possibility, even in Star Trek Prodigy, the animated one? Um, There's a possible return for Cessnos? You know, it's not up to me. I, I hope. Yeah. I wish. But I think you're absolutely brilliant. Thank you. 
I'm so established as Seska, I won't be coming back as anything else. You know what I mean? I've done lots of different things before that. But, um, I, I hope so. I mean, there isn't a reason not to. I mean, it's been done. I, I, but, you know, the further things are away, the more people forget it, and they want to come up with new ideas. Yeah, I think that's true. also. If you were to come back, would you like to come back as the drawing Seska or Cardassian Seska? Cardassian Seska. Cardassian. <laughs> right, can't answer. Yeah, because it's more that powerful. Is, yes, yeah. yeah. You're a very strong, dominant villain. Yes. Thank you. Hey, Richie, that is so considerate of you. Thank you so much. I like to make everyone's life easier. I do, I do. <laughs> That's what they all say, and then they start saying, and then I need the signature to be smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger. Oh, yeah, I see what's going on. How's the convention been so far? It's been really good. Yeah, were you here yesterday? We did, but we only got here for six, so we're a bit late in this day. We'll you guys be back tomorrow. Oh, potentially, yes. Yeah. Potentially, depending on his work schedule. Oh, I've got the day off. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to our D and D game yeah. so many nights. I've never played D and D. I don't give a shit if you play. That's not what I asked you. Are you going to come to our game? What time is it? Six? It's at uh, five, I think. Five. Just say yes. What are you doing? Yes. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You'll make him come. Now you'll be like, he's yeah. going to be fucking pissed. Well, so I'm going to be looking out there like, where are these guys? Where's Richie? He said he was easy. Damn it. No, yeah, exactly. That's not my name. Exactly. Richie, how would you like me to sign this for you? Um, however you want however to, as long as it's too rich. <laughs> I would. I was so gutted they killed you off. Ah, tell me about it. You were the second and all, obviously, Jeffrey yes. Coons, the first one. Yes. And you grew to love him, even though he was a bit of a you never dodgy knew character. You never knew. I know. People early on were like, I think it's going to turn. I was like, I don't. <laughs> I thought he was going to be good right from the get-go. Good. But I'm just so gutted they killed you Yeah, up. well, you know, I feel like I've, I've ushered in an Andorian renaissance. Yeah. There are Lower Decks, there are Prodigy, there's going to be a free yeah. world. So I feel responsible for the Andorian stewardship. And yeah. I was, it was just so much fun, you know, we just had a blast and working with David was so much fun, it was just so much fun, we had such a good time, it was just like a dream come true for me, so, even though it was just a short, short stint, I got my brains blown out, I still had such a good time. <laughs> Your relationship with, Jane, with Janeway, even though you are a hologram, was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I just wish. I just saw that, you know, uh, a few minutes ago. We haven't seen one another. I oh, really we had a hug. Yeah. And, uh, and you, you, you just said that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The basis of it is still there. Yeah. It's, it's just sweet. It's, it's good to be reminded that it wasn't just you know, singular, yeah. Yeah. one or but there's a basis. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. I just wish you had the chance to come back for Series 7. Because you're only in Spirit Haven and. Yeah. Um, Yes, I'm sorry, Fair Haven and Spirit Bank. Yeah, yeah. And I just wish you had more time with Jamie because that was just such a. Yeah. Wouldn't have worked in the real world. Could have developed. Yeah. You certainly spoke for it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and, uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, have a good day. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're Daniel, right? You're all set? What's the George sign? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, George. Hi, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Can I just say you're an absolute legend and it's an honor to meet you. You're a legend and it's an honor to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Brilliant, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. So I don't know if you can hear a word I'm saying, but since I updated you last, we have pretty much met everyone that we need to meet, other than I need to meet Kate Mulgrew still. Um, we'll show you all the autographs and stuff later. Uh, Richie's just sat next to me eating, so I can't put him on camera. But he's got a photo shoot with George Takai soon, which obviously you can't be in, but we'll probably show the picture later, maybe, if you look at. But yeah. It's been a good day, we've pretty much done everything all in one day, which is mad. But, yes, I'll see you later. Hey, Elias. Hey, Daniel. Hi. It's nice to meet you. I absolutely love doing Orange is New Black. You're my favourite character.
Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. So we are now done with Destination Star Trek. We've managed to get it all done in one day. So we're not going to end tomorrow. So yeah, when we get back to the hotel or back to Vicky's house, we're going to show you everything that we got and yeah, talk about our experience. So yeah, see you soon. So we're back at you, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> so we've made it back to Richie's house and we had a brilliant time at the pond, did we not? Yes, very much so. It was very good. Considering I've never really seen much of Star Trek or really ever cared about it. It was quite good. I enjoyed it. So thank you for dragging me along with you. You're welcome. And Maybe next year. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I probably will go again because it was really good. I enjoyed it. Good. But yeah, we're now back at Richard's house. We were supposed to go to the con again tomorrow, but we've finished everything all today. So we thought, fuck it. Let's go in. We didn't go see the Star Trek Prodigy first ever episode aired in the UK, introduced by Kate Mulgrew, but that meant we were going to be waiting around for five, six hours, mm. so. So we thought, nah. And we didn't really do any talks either, did we? Cause we didn't do any. Well, no. I would have gone right over my head, mm. in all honesty. Only I would have understood what was going on, so. And I would have caught up on some sleep, so. Mm. Maybe next year, when you're a bit more trekky than weirdo. <laughs> But yeah, before I get continue to get more abused, <laughs> I'm going to end the video here. But before I do, no. But anyway, before... My, I don't know, what the fuck are you trying to do? Show the mat. How am I introducing the mat? <laughs> but yeah, before I go, I'm going to show you all of the mat and all of the autographs that we got today. I only got three autographs. I didn't buy any merch whatsoever. Why is Darren for? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Then we're going to end the video. Sorry if you can hear any background noise. It's, someone in London feels like it's bonfire night all over again. But yeah. Going to show you everything that we got. So like I said, this is now the merch and autograph section. And I'm going to pass you over to Richie. He's going to explain everything. Because obviously I don't know a fucking thing. So let's go. So as part of the Commander Pass, you got two tier one, one tier one and a tier two autograph. Three fifteen pound autographs, six paid talks, a green screen photo shoot, a bridge photo shoot, and a gift bag. Ah, oh yeah. So out of this gift bag, which is this, which is Starfleet Academy, San Francisco, you got a magnet. You got a sticker, a pin badge, a Nebula class Voyager coaster, a Star Trek Voyager ballpoint pen, a Destination Star Trek baseball cap, and a Destination Star Trek Voyager 25th Anniversary print. There was also a uh, free guest autograph that wasn't there, which was Casey Biggs, who plays Damar, um, and that will be in the autograph bundle at the end of the video. We also got a programme with our free gift bag, but we forgot to find it, and we've only just found it. So yeah, not even looked at it, but that was basically it. The merch I have bought was a Destination Star Trek London magnet, a Voyager Captain Proton magnet, 
three small square Star Trek destination, Star Trek Starship badges. Discovery, Enterprise and Defiant. A LGBTQ plus destination Star Trek badge. A Starfleet Academy command pin badge. And that is all in terms of merch. So with the Commander Pass, you got a bridge photo shoot. So we got the Star Trek Voyager bridge, me in the captain seat and Daniel in the commander seat. But because we had a pass each, we got a second one. This time Daniel in the captain seat and me at uh, the con working in the background. Then we got a uh, green screen of me running down the original Enterprise corridor. And I also got another green screen, which is me on the view screen while Kirk, Chekhov and Sulu watch. I also purchased a USS Discovery captain seat with green screen. And my photo, the only photo that I got at the con was with George Takei himself, uh, Lieutenant Hikaru Sulu. As you can see, there was a divide, but you can barely pick it up on the, on the picture, which I thought was actually pretty well done. Mm. So up next is uh, my autographs that I've got either with the freebies with the command pass or ones I've purchased myself. Um, up first, we've got Rin, who is played by Noah Averback Katz, and Dorian, uh, who was in Star Trek Discovery. I thought he was absolutely amazing. Um, couldn't speak highly of his character, um, and uh, he was an actually brilliant guest. Uh, up next, we've got Mark Rolston, who was on uh, Next Generation. But I got him for his character, Private Drake from Aliens. Didn't actually last long in the film. Died about halfway, three quarters. Um, but wasn't a predominant character. But uh, I liked him because he also played Dan Erickson in Saw, which is one of my favourite franchises. Next was Arium, who was played by Hannah Cheeseman also featured in Star Trek Discovery, um, had an emotional death um, and I found out that she would have actually loved to have been something to do with the Boar Collective um, but it was a very emotional death which I think a lot of people may have connected with because she was a pretty good character. Up next we've got an autograph by Blue Del Barrio who played Adira Tao. They are uh, the first uh, non-binary uh, character to feature heavily in a Star Trek episode. Um, they are in a relationship with Grey um, and Adira is actually part of the Trill uh, community. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this relationship pans out um, even though Grey is one of the previous hosts. So hopefully we get an episode a bit like Fascination from Deep Space Nine where previous Trills take over human bodies. Um, so they can interact with their past hosts. But they are absolutely lovely. Next is Wilson Cruz, who played uh, Dr. Hugh Colbert. He is probably uh, the only LGBT relationship we've had on a uh, mainstream Star Trek series um, in a relationship with Paul Stamets. Um, I did find out some juicy gossip that there could potentially be uh, a marriage um, coming up or a hopeful marriage. Um, but he did also hint that not everything quite goes to plan as well. So uh, not too sure what's uh, in the pipeline for these two characters, but I thought he was absolutely amazing um, and a very down to earth character and a amazing actor. Next, we've got David Ajala who plays Booker. Um, he is the supposed partner of Michael Burnham um, I think he's a cool collected character um, and interested to see how he gets on in the future as part of Seasons 4 main cast. 
Next we have Kalara, who was played by Lydia Wilson, who featured in Star Trek Beyond. I did find out that uh, the headpiece that she's wearing is actually very heavy um, and she had to get propped up every now and then during the day because it was that heavy that she started uh, falling over. Um, so I didn't realise it'd be that heavy so that was quite an interesting uh, conversation we had about uh, the headpiece that she had to wear. Next we have uh, Michael Sullivan who is played by Finton McCohen. Uh, he was the holographic love interest of Captain Janeway from Series 6, Fair Haven and Spirit Folk. He, I found out that he actually wanted um, a bigger role um, going forward and wanted to develop the relationship between uh, himself and Catherine Janeway, which I thought would have actually been amazing. Um, but he did actually tell me this was uh, since the filming of the episode today was the first day they've actually met up since and it was like they'd never lost touch um and he was very grateful to see her again and uh i would have loved to see more from these two up next we've got the one and only george takei who played hiraku sulu in the original series and the first six films and a guest character on star trek voyages flashback um he was very quiet, down to earth, um, but I love the photo shoot I had with him. Then we've got Patrick Wachtoon, who plays Lieutenant Jen Rees. I also found out some really juicy gossip about this character. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone, um, but I'm looking forward to seeing where this character goes in the future. Um, he was really nice. Um, very genuine and a uh, pleasure to meet. Next, we've got Mary Wiseman, who plays Sylvia Tilly. Um, she was just absolutely amazing. Down to earth, everyday person, um, someone that you can see yourself in, in the role on the TV series. She seemed so humble to get the feedback from myself. Um, I just thought she was absolutely amazing. Next, we've got uh, Emily Coots, who played Kayla Detmer. Um, I think she's a really interesting character. Um, looking forward to seeing where they go with this character, because uh, during the third series of Discovery, she was having uh, issues with her implants. So uh, hopefully we see uh, what happens and uh, where we go with her. Next, we have Old Fat Phlox. Or so he calls himself. This is John Billingsley. Uh, he was in Star Trek Enterprise for the four seasons. Um, he said he would love to come back as Phlox. Um, uh, but it would probably be more like a uh, sitting in a rocking chair, rolling back and forth and going over tales of his stories from future's past. Um, but he was a really interesting guy. Fun to talk to and very humble. Up next, we've got Elizabeth Dennehy, who played Lieutenant Commander Shelby in Star Trek Next Generation 2, part of the best of both worlds, which was one of the best and biggest Borg episodes we've had in the series until Voyager came along and First Contact. Um, she said she would love to come back as the role of uh, Elizabeth. Um, I think she could probably fit into the Star Trek Picard situation. Uh, could probably fit into the Star Trek Picard series because of how they deal with obviously Picard and Riker and the Borg. Uh, she said she'd love to come back, but unfortunately she's uh, getting a bit older now, so uh, not sure that she'd be happy to come back. Um, next, we've got Martha Hackett who plays Seska. She was really lovely. Um, she would have loved to have stayed on board Star Trek Voyager a bit longer. She would have liked us to find out a bit more about her child and what happened to her. Um, but she was really down to earth. Um, I did suggest maybe a TV series based on her child taking over the Kazon race of people. But uh, obviously I don't think that's going to come on board. And the free um, autograph Daniel and I got was Casey Biggs, who played DeMar in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He wasn't at the con, um, but it's a genuine autograph. Um, and uh, I've already met him uh, a very few, uh, quite a while ago. Um, and 
yeah, he's a really nice guy. Just a, a shame he wasn't at the con this year. And this is Daniel's uh, autograph from uh, the same character, the, the freebie. So there's one of the autographs that Richard got. And obviously I got some autographs too. Can't go to a con without getting an autograph. So the first one I got was from David Adrala. Now, obviously, not a Star Trek fan. I only know him for playing Manchester Black in Supergirl. So I got this Supergirl photo signed, which as you can see is signed in the corner. Silver on silver. I can't really see it properly in person, but it looks amazing on camera. He was really nice. And as you can see in the video, him and Marina Sirtis were having a lovely conversation about drag queens, which was quite entertaining. Next up, I have Kate Mulgrew, who I know best for playing Red in Orange is New Black. As you will have seen in the video, she was very quiet, which is quite a shame because I've always wanted to meet her. But I don't hold it against her. I can imagine how busy she is. I love her still, regardless. And I will definitely meet her again in the future. But yeah, I'm very happy to have met her, even if she didn't speak. But yeah, I'm very grateful. And my only Star Trek related Dodge Graph is from the legend that is George Takeo. Now, as you will have seen in the video, I did speak to him. I called him a legend and yeah, I told him it was an honour to meet him. And it actually is. Even if I've barely seen him in Star Trek, I have actually seen him play Zulu. But I only know him really for I'm a Celebrity to get him out of here. And I can't believe it's 13 years ago since he was in it. But yeah, those are the three autographs that I got. And have a lovely firework to end up the heart of the video. <laughs> so there we go, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a massive thumbs up, massive like, leave all your comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Live long and prosper.